I mean, I think I would say that there was one line which is a very obscure line of poetry. And I think it's, it's obscurity that matters to me because most of the poetry that I know off by heart is probably what everybody knows off by heart. And, and for some reason, that then moves into the realm of cliché and a kind of feeling that am I just feeling and responding in the same way as everyone else, when what I really want is some more sort of unique sense of self that comes from poetry, that when we engage with poems, we all do it differently. And so somehow the quotations that are familiar to us all, I think, lose some of their power. Um, there's a poet who grew up in the Caribbean um, called Saint-Jean Perse, and he, he had a very complicated life. Um, and at one point, he found himself staying in the house of some American friends on Long Island, which was obviously extraordinarily beautiful. And he spent a lot of time walking on the beach um, and that kind of liminal space between land and sea is a space that so many artists, painters, poets have pondered, that you're on, on land, but there's this elsewhere that stretches out. And he wrote a line which just has a sort of extraordinary power for me, which is, porte ouverte sur le sable, porte ouverte sur l'exil. So the door open on the sand, the door open on exile. And there's something about the idea of the door, the doorway to somewhere else, which of course is a metaphor for poetry. Poetry is itself that, that doorway on the sand that takes us into another world. And it also takes us to a place of exile. It takes us to a place which is out of, out of this world. Um, so I think that would probably be my, my number one line. <laughs>